So you guys thought I was joking. You guys thought, no, it can't happen. You guys thought, bro, you guys thought so much stuff. But today, I just want to say that once again, Simple Alpaca is right. Now, I do throw a lot of stuff out there that's not necessarily right. I said a lot of weird things back in the day. But I'm telling you right now, there's not been a more vocal voice about the iPod Touch 7 generation than moi, all right? I don't want to give myself too much credit. I don't want to give myself too much clout. And I was kind of wrong on the way I thought it was going to look like. But at the same time, I knew Apple was going to release this at some point, and guess what? Apple finally released it today, and you guys have been dying to hear my opinion on it, what I think about it, all that good stuff. So here's just a pretty much a quick glimpse on what the iPod Touch 7th generation is bringing pretty much. Now, a lot of people might be disappointed. A lot of people are like, why the heck did they even make it? But like I said before, man, like the reason the whole synopsis of this is for people who don't necessarily want to buy an iPhone or something for their kid or for their grandparent or whatever, they can supply this. And I told you before, the iPod Touch 6th generation was definitely going out. It was definitely not being supported anymore. So Apple had a choice. Either they were going to continue the iPod Touch line or they were going to end it. And they eventually did decide to continue it. Now, some people are kind of salty about the way it looks because it looks pretty much exactly the same way as the iPod Touch 6 generation, the previous one. And in my opinion, I mean, I was already kind of expecting it. I mean, either they were going to stick with the same design or they were going to go full out and put on the notch and make a 4-inch display, whatever, 4.7 inch and the, that type of body. And that style, which all my renders were pretty much based off, was kind of out there. In terms of how it looks now, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much sure that now I'm not really too bitter about it. So it's keeping that same exact body as a 6th gen. Luckily, they are putting the A10 Fusion chip in it, which is the same chipset that the iPhone 7 brought. So in a sense, it should be getting the same software support as the iPhone 7. And that might even further the claim that the iPhone 7 might get an extra year of support. Still not, it's, it's still up there, but... I'll go into that in a different video. Another thing that I'm kind of mad about is that they didn't bring Touch ID into it, which in my opinion, I mean, they put Touch ID on the new iPad Air. They put Touch ID on the new iPad mini. So why couldn't they have just added Touch ID onto the iPod Touch 7 generation? I feel like they could have done that. That could have been somewhat an improvement. Now, luckily, they did keep it at the same price tag. But in pretty much all other senses, it's almost the same exact device. Now, this concludes that, yes, the iPod Touch 6 Gen is not going to get iOS 13. But that pretty much also means that the iPhone 6 and 5S are not going to get iOS 13 either, which, in my opinion, I was already expecting. So in terms of that, that's not really that big of an update in my head. <laughs> but here's the T, all right? Here's pretty much what I think about the 7th Gen iPod. I think that it's important. I don't think it's like a waste of money. I don't think it's a, just a waste of Apple space in their stores. I think it definitely has a place, but I feel like they could have done more. Like, again, it's an iPod. I'm definitely going to buy it and review it. I still own the 6th Gen, the 5th I don't. I think I own every single iPod Touch. So I really just think they could have done a better job overall. It's not the end of the world, though. I definitely think, you know, it has its place. I think more so this update and this upgrade was more so focused on the software update side rather than just on, like, the hardware side. Because most of the time, you don't necessarily need, like, the highest graphics or whatever and highest performance to run something, first of all, on a 4-inch display. But second of all, it's an iPod. Not many people are going to do, like, crazy amounts of, you know, graphically intensive things on it. It's more so for kids or seniors or whoever. It's really for anyone. I've read stories of people who, you know, just use an iPod Touch as a secondary device, something they just leave at home and they stream music from or whatever, like whatever the case is. I personally think that it has a place in time. Like I said, I don't think it's a waste of money. They could have done a better job at it. I will be dropping a full review here soon, and I might even do a speed test. I mean, it's kind of funny because the 6th gen iPod came out so long ago. So comparing something that's not even like last year's device, I mean, we've seen so many technological improvements since then. So I think it's kind of funny that they kind of dropped it randomly out of the blue, but... Overall, I'm not bitter about it. The only thing I am kind of salty about is you guys not giving me enough credit for saying that Apple was going to make it. But And if you guys can't tell, I'm totally joking. I mean, people have said that the 7th Gen iPod was coming before I did. So, But overall, those are my thoughts. Those are my opinions. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you guys think the 7th Gen iPod is amazing? Do you think it's not? It's a pretty big day for Apple ecosystem because this pretty much signifies that if Apple is willing to make a new iPod, they're probably end up going to make a new iPhone SE 2. At some point, either this year, or next year, whatever the case is, they're going to make it sooner than later. But hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I would really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.